When I originally published my book, Truth and Genesis, Exposing the Lie of Evolution and Millions of Years, I made a mistake and had information in there about the canopy theory. I've since updated the book and made the proper corrections. And I want to talk about the canopy theory here today. So what is the canopy theory? Some believe that there may have been a canopy of water or ice above the atmosphere before the flood. This is known as the canopy theory. You know, and they say that this is what made the environment to where people could live longer and animals could grow much bigger and so on. The idea for the canopy theory comes from Genesis 1, 6-7, which says, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. The Bible does not say that there was a canopy of water or ice above the atmosphere. All the Bible says is that God put a firmament in the midst of the waters. So there was water under the firmament and water above the firmament. So what is the firmament? Well, the Bible tells us in Genesis 1.20, And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. So the firmament is where the birds fly. Genesis 1.8 tells us that the firmament is called heaven. Interestingly, the Bible talks about three different heavens. The third heaven is mentioned in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2, which says, I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth, such an one called up to the third heaven. According to the Bible, there are three heavens. The first heaven is where the birds fly. The second heaven is where the sun, moon, and stars are. And the third heaven is where we go when we die, if we know Jesus Christ as our Savior. So what is the Bible talking about in Genesis 1-7? So what are the waters above the firmament? Well, the Bible gives us the answer in the book of Proverbs, chapter 8. It says, when he prepared the heavens, this is talking about the creation. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. This is talking about wisdom. Wisdom was with God. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth. When he established the clouds above when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. The entire chapter of Proverbs 8 is talking about wisdom. It says that wisdom was with God when he prepared the heavens and when he established the clouds above. The clouds above is what the water above the firmament was in Genesis 1-7. A cloud is a visible collection of particles of water or ice suspended in the air. Therefore, the water above the firmament that is described in Genesis 1 is the clouds. There's no reason to create some weird theory about a canopy of ice above Earth's atmosphere. That's not what the Bible says. People that support the canopy theory say that this canopy fell down at the time of the flood. However, the Bible tells us that there is still water above the firmament. Praise Him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. This is from the book of Psalms, well after the time of the flood. If there is still water above, then the canopy theory is false. Is there still water above where the birds fly? Yes, there are still clouds above where the birds fly. So the canopy theory is simply not true. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And be sure to check out my book on Amazon.com. As I said, I've corrected this information. And be sure to like the video, leave a comment below, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.